From the Tumeb mine, Namibia, now, uh, this is almost a palm size, maybe, okay, to, to be comfortable, half a palm size. The relative weight of this specimen is quite heavy. So we're going to start, let's first of all take it like this. Take it around, relative weight, as I said, pretty heavy. Color-wise, we're looking at uh, sort of a creamy to white crystallization. Now, I'm not quite sure. I do need to look under the, at this guy under magnification. Uh, uh, most likely smithsonite, but it could be some villamite as well, just based on the heaviness of the ore. So we'd have it going sideways like that. And then we'd look at it across from the top looking down. We'd have this effect. Let me just zoom in a little bit closer and have a better look. These may very well be villamite crystals uh, uh, with, with uh, a smithsonite, of course. Then when we turn the specimen over, so we're gonna, we had it turning this way, so now we're going to go across this way. We have this section over here. The crystals seem a bit smaller. Same material though. Most likely Villamite and Smithsonite associated. There seems to be something yellow here. Just see. Maybe a little bit of Mamatite too. All the way from the Tsumeb mine Namibia. There seems to be an almost an underlying sort of a sea greenishness which could make it, which could be the, caused by the Villamite in, in many cases. But uh, preferred point of display from our point of view, I quite enjoy this angle where you have the larger crystals and uh, good size uh, relative weight pretty heavy matrix seems to be dolomite so not a galena matrix so the weight would be from the crystallization on top here